pesky frequencies. The ones that doesn't let you sleep at night. Those are the ones we're gonna remove on today's tutorial. Let's do it. What is up you guys, Orlando here with Leisure Record Studio, another video for you guys today. And I have something quite interesting today because we are removing annoying frequencies, but not in the usual manner. Usually when you're working in music, you just grab a EQ and that's it. But sometimes you need to grab more specialized tools. And that's what we're gonna do today to remove unwanted frequencies. Because sometimes, sometimes, even with powerful tools such as this ones, you still cannot remove those frequencies. And I mean it, it's annoying. Five minutes later. Let's jump to the tutorial, but first consider subscribing, you know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. Just do it! So what I have here is not your usual project. This is just a recording. It's a female vocal um, that it's uh, just voiceover. It's just a conversation, it's an interview, but you're gonna hear an annoying frequency that no matter what we do, we cannot get rid of it. So that's the thing that we need to tackle today. So before we dive into it, just please use headphones for this. This message has been brought to you by Puff. Please use headphones foundation. <coughs> Take a listen. Well, I'm an account manager, so I work together with our clients and our points of contact at the organizations and healthcare um, partners that we have to make sure that they have access, that their teams have access to language services so that they can serve their communities and families. There's a massive annoying frequency on that audio and it's really hard to remove because I literally try everything. I literally try um, dynamic EQ, I try denoisers, I try um, the voice uh, denoise actually from RX. I try a bunch of stuff including Sooth too and all of those tools are doing a pretty good job because obviously before well, I'm an account manager, so I work together with our clients and our points of contact at the organizations and healthcare um, partners that we have. So it's shaping the tone of the vocal. That's uh, what I'm looking for. Um, sounds much better. Sound, you know, with the amount of compression that it needs and all the rest is at the level that I want. But I still get that annoying frequency. And no matter what I do, I cannot remove it. So I eventually grab one of the best tools that you have inside Cubase. And yeah, sorry, uh, Cubase, it's pretty awesome. And it has spectra layers. So this is a spectra layers tutorial. What? If you're not interested in that, <laughs> you can go now but i'm sorry guys but uh it's a reality this tool you can access on the audio menu on extensions and uh, the reason it's an extension is because spectra layers in the same manner that rx it's a standalone app actually from isotope as well spectra layers is almost the same we select the audio as you can see here and it's gonna give you the spectrogram basically. So I'm gonna put this um, on this screen and what I want to do here on this side is I'm gonna add the composite view and I like this one that's called Turbo. Um, and what I'm gonna do is actually gonna boost this to the left because that's gonna give me the contrast. Um, so I'm gonna be able to see what's going on in this um, area right here. As you can see, this audio, the peaks, the highest volume, it's going to be the red and also the blue, it's going to be the, you know, less noticeable um, audio, right? So um, with that in mind, just look at what's happening here. Normally, an audio signal doesn't have um, these weird lines that you can see here 
all the way across. You don't see that in a regular audio. Those lines are the actual issue. Those lines are the annoying frequency that we want to remove. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to grab this tool right here. Uh, this is the rectangular selection, and I'm just going to uh, place it uh, here in one of those lines so you can actually hear what that's doing. Take a listen. Take a listen to another. Let's take a listen to this one right here. That's annoying. Yeah, that's super annoying. So what happened is with all those lines combined together, as you can see, one has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it goes on um, to create that sound that you can actually hear on the recording, which is that sound. I'm an account manager, so I work together with our clients. And it's that kind of feedback sound, that annoying frequency that we want to remove, but it's not just one. There are several of them and you cannot remove them with EQ. You can try and try to uh, see the frequency here that it's kind of around that area and try to remove it with an EQ, but that's not going to be a permanent job and it's not going to do what you think it's going to do because Believe me, I tried and it doesn't work. So what we do, because we don't want to spend a lot of time on this, is just remove just those frequencies from right here with spectral layers. This is probably one of the most annoying things that you need to do in audio, but at the end, it's uh, absolutely worth it because the audio is going to be absolutely clean. So you're going to start selecting those lines and gonna go here, process, generate silence. And you're gonna generate silence all across, okay? So that's one. Uh, there's another one here that I'm gonna remove really quick. And I'm gonna fast forward to the end in a second. So take a listen now what that sounds like. Well, I'm an account manager, so I work together with our clients and our points of contact at the organizations and healthcare um, partners that we have to make sure that they have access, that their teams have access to language services so that they can serve their communities. And Way, way better now, but still, still not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the way that top end above 12K I don't need that. So you can do that pretty easy. Just select that and hit delete and you're going to delete all those frequencies. And now you should get something like this. But first I'm going to remove that last annoying frequency from right there from the top. Right. So let's remove that really quick. And there's just another tiny one here that I want to remove real quick. Now take a listen. Well, I'm an account manager, so I work together with our clients and our points of contact at the organizations and healthcare um, partners that we have to make sure that they have access, that their teams have access to language services so that they can serve their communities and families. Now take a listen to this. And how does language services help them to, and how does language services help them to? That's super annoying. And now? Manager. So I work together with our clients and our points of contact at the organizations and healthcare um, partners that we have. And there you have it, guys. It's now 
a much, much cleaner vocal. It's removing, I don't know, 97% of that frequency. Um, there's only certain parts that still remains because as you can see, you still have a bunch of, of lines there that, you know, even in between the ones that we took, which are the most prominent ones, um, there are lines in between that we didn't touch. And that's why you still get a tiny, tiny little bit, but it's not noticeable enough um, to spend four hours just removing all of them. That's all for today's video. Just wanted to show you that you can actually remove annoying frequencies, feedback, and all these type of noises that seem impossible uh, because probably you don't have the right tool for the job, but with something like spectral layers, you can accomplish way more than you think. Hope this is helpful to you. Hope you could learn something from the tutorial today. Let me know in the comments below. And until next one, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you around.